There's one scene, I won't tell you, I won't set it up, it just happens. Uh, an oyster falls down my dress and, um, and I just we got into set and I said, so am I gonna have, you know, shellfish falling down me every, all day? And, um, and then they said, no, 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 don't worry, we have a stunt oyster. And I said, what's a stunt oyster? And Chris just came in with a cockle. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just lovely to work with someone who's so clever and kind of quick on his feet. So, yeah. so that was great. And it was a big thing to take this on, you know? Mm, of you know, course. We, Rebel and I are not shrinking violets, and, um, and we all really collaborated beautifully together. And some of the scenes certainly are shot in the most beautiful parts of Europe. Did you enjoy your time in the sunshine? Nah, Europe, gosh, <laughs> once you've been to one beautiful place you've been, it was amazing. It was so beautiful. It was, and we just kind of, you know, come through six really, was it six? Anyway, however long it was. It was a really good but tough shoot in the UK, in the rain, in the cold, it is what it is. Um, and then we went to Mallorca and everything was just sort of beautifully bleached and gorgeous and, and it was the perfect way to end a film. Mm. It, was, it was nice. We all had a bit of trouble kind of behaving ourselves, but well, we got through to the end. You got there. <laughs> and is your little boy, Anne, is he showing any <laughs> signs of following in your footsteps? Because you, you followed in your mum's footsteps. That is true. I think I think he's more. I think he's closer to my mom actually than I than I am. My, um, I I loved acting, but I was very nervous about kind of getting. I wasn't that kid that just got up in front of people. I, for me, it was always kind of within uh, a production. But my son, he's got that kind. My mom had that personality that you know just kind of stand in the center of the room. Um, and just sing thing, and my son's got that too. That's a wonderful thing. And I did read recently that you have given up alcohol until he is about 18 years old. Is that is that true? Uh, it, I intend for it to be true. So far, it's only been true for about half a year, but yeah. <laughs> I've got 17 and a half years to go in order for it to be true. <laughs> it's, it's a long time, but it, it is a conscious decision then. You, you really do sort of mean business with it. Yeah, you know, I, I let me put. I, I tried not to. I tried really hard not to, but uh, it was just kind of undeniable at the end that I, you know, I, I, being with him, the time that I have with him is really precious, and I do leave a lot for work, and so I found that my time with him was just kind of getting impacted, um, not necessarily by the drinking because I, I never went out of control around him, but just. I hate to say it, when you get a little bit older, you the hangovers get really bad. Yeah. So yeah. I had to make a choice. And, I'm feeling um, it. I'm with and you. I had to, and I chose mornings. Isn't that annoying? Yeah. Isn't it's it really annoying, God. but I'm, and annoying I'm older than you, trust I'm me. I'm really irritated. It gets I'm worse, I'm really then. irritated by how well it's going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But so, yeah, so the plan is, you know, I'm only going to do it for about, you know, the time until, and then I'm going to, you know, raise a proper good human being, get him off to college, and then like move to a vineyard. <laughs> and then spend the back half of my life completely sloshed, happy, sun drenched. That's the plan.